Connecticut's Attorney General William Tong says today's Supreme Court ruling was reckless in his words, and he said it could have dire public safety consequences nationwide. As for how this ruling will impact our state, well, it depends who you talk to. Assuming you have a permit, you can carry a gun around openly. That's Mike Lawler, a former undersecretary for criminal justice in Connecticut, speaking about Connecticut's current carry law. In New York State, historically, in order to get a permit to carry a gun, you had to give them a reason why you needed it. Um, and that's what the Supreme Court said violates the Second Amendment. And that's what the high court ruled must change in six states and Washington, D.C. By having the ruling that the Supreme Court had today, it kind of re reinstilled the notion that being able to defend yourself, defend your family, does not stop at your front door. Even though Connecticut was not one of the state's name, the ruling did reference that the state requires you to be a suitable person to receive a permit to carry a gun outside of your home. But the Supreme Court said, when, when we look at how the courts in Connecticut have interpreted that, it means you're going to get the permit unless there's some kind of red flag. So even though Connecticut is technically what's called a May issue state, footnote number one of today's ruling says Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island have discretionary criteria but appear to operate like shall issue jurisdictions. According to constitutional lawyers, this is the first time that the high court has ever weighed in on whether a person has the right to carry a gun outside their home. Here in Wallingford, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.